Chapter 1, Lesson 5, Graph Proportional Relationships. You will be able to identify proportional relationships by graphing them on the coordinate plane. Another way to determine whether two quantities are proportional is to graph the quantities on the coordinate plane. If the graph of the two quantities is a straight line through the origin, then the two quantities are proportional. They must satisfy both conditions. The slowest mammal on Earth is the tree sloth. It moves at a speed of 6 feet per minute. Determine whether the number of feet the sloth moves is proportional to the number of minutes it moves by graphing on the coordinate plane. Explain your reasoning. So first we need to create a chart. I know that it moves 6 feet in 1 minute. So 6 and 1. And actually, I would like to put a zero in there, so let's go back for a moment. So six and one. At zero time, it has moved zero feet. Let's figure out for two, three, and four minutes. Two minutes, it would have gone 12. Just keep adding six. 18. Add six again. 20. Four. Before we graph it, we need to be able to, um, we need labels. So we want to know the distance proportional to the time. Therefore, distance is the y-axis, and time is the x-axis. Time is in minutes, and distance is in feet. And let's throw a title. Let's do maybe tree, sloth, movement. Okay. And we need labels. Um, we need a scale. So our time is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Looks like I have space to skip some lines. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And our distance goes up to 24. Uh, I don't believe, if we count by 2's, I don't think we'll have enough space. So let's count by 3's. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Now as I'm writing this for the video, something to keep in mind is that my pen is only so small, so I can't exactly write them neatly. So please make sure you write everything neatly on here. And now we graph the points. At time 0, we have a distance of 0. So graph that point. At time 1, we have a distance of 6. At time 2, we have a distance of 12. At time 3, we have a distance of 18. And at time 4, we have a distance of 24. Now what you need to see is, can you draw a straight line that passes through the origin? It's definitely a straight line, and it does pass through the origin. So what we would say here is, it's proportional because it's a straight line that passes through the origin. That's your explanation. Next example. James earns $5 an hour babysitting. Determine whether the amount of money James earns babysitting 
is proportional to the number of hours he babysits by graphing on the coordinate plane. Explain your reasoning. So if he works zero hours, he gets paid zero dollars. If he works one hour, he gets paid five. Two hours, he gets paid ten. Three hours, he gets paid fifteen. And four hours, he gets paid twenty. So we are wondering if the amount he earns is proportional to hours, which tells me that the amount he earned, or his earnings, is the y-axis, and time in hours is the x-axis. Our time is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It looks like I can skip every other again. We want to use as much of the graph as possible. And our earnings goes up to 20. Here it looks like we will be able to count by twos. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And we need a title. I uh, will call this babysitting. Okay. Now we graph. At zero to hours, he makes zero money. Again, the points that I plot may be a little off. At one hour, he makes five dollars. At two hours, he makes ten. At three hours, he makes fifteen. And four hours, he makes twenty. Now try and draw a straight line that passes through the origin and see what you come up with. Okay. So again, because I can draw that straight line and because it passes through the origin, this is proportional. So it's proportional because it's a straight line that passes through the origin. Letter C. The cost of renting video games from Games Inc. is shown in the table. Determine whether the cost is proportional to the number of games rented. So cost proportional to games. Uh, by graphing the coordinate on the coordinate plane and explain your answer. So I know that games would be on the bottom. And the cost would be on the y-axis. Our games is 1, 2, 3, 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and 3, 5, 7, and 9 looks like we can count by 1's as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine and we need a title we'll just call this game rental rentals so one game costs three dollars let's get a little bit thicker of a marker one game costs three dollars two games cost five dollars three games seven and four games 
Oh, it's coming. Looks like it froze for a moment. And four games, nine dollars. Oops. Okay, it looks like there was a little glitch in my pen. Let's just fix that up. Okay. Now we need to see if it is a straight line that passes through the origin. So this line goes through all my points. However, it does not pass through the origin. Because of that, it is not proportional. So it is not proportional because it does not pass through the origin. Letter D. The number t the table shows the number of calories an athlete burn per minute of exercise. Determine whether the number of calories burned is proportional to the number of minutes by graphing on the coordinate plane and explain your reasoning. So this one's nice. It's labeled for us. So we can, all we need here is a title. So we use calories burned. And let's make that a little smaller. Okay. So there's our title. Now we already have a chart as well, so let's graph our points. Zero, zero, one, four, two, eight, three, thirteen. So again, let's try and draw that straight line through the origin. Looks like it definitely goes through the origin. Let's do some adjusting. Oh, we have an issue here. Most of them are on a straight line, but this lonely point over here does not fall on the straight line. Therefore, let's get rid of the line because there isn't one. This is, let's move this up. It's not proportional because it is not a straight line. Letter E. Which batting cage represents a proportional relationship between the number of pitches thrown and the cost? Explain. So which one is a straight line that passes through the origin? Here we definitely have a straight line, but it intersects at, the, at 3 on the y-axis. Here we have a straight line, but this time it goes through the origin. So the batting cage that represents a proportional relationship would be fun center. And the reason is because it's a straight line that passes through the origin. As long as it's a straight line and it passes through the origin, a relationship is proportional. If it's missing one of those two things or both, it is not proportional.